Yellow Demon of is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the Venom Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel and this will really help us improve our videos. Where the actors slam oh, there yes. they forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay guys, let's go. So first up, we're gonna destroy the bandits. Okay, so this part's very easy. Using the poison daggers, this is your Z skill. Take note that there are poison debris that every time your enemy steps on it, they will still get damage, okay? So make sure to take advantage of that. There you go. Anyway guys, this fruit is really good for grinding even though it is not a Logia type of fruit. Anyways, we're gonna leave here at level 15. Here are the stats. Okay, for our next island, we got the Fountain City. Wait, Gamer Nom, this is for high level players. Yes, I agree, but you can do wall strat here, okay? So use your Z skill. Guys, just be cautious here. Every time you use your Z skill, there is a knockback, right? Just dodge to the side. There you go, to dodge his long range attacks. If done properly, and if you were able to defeat him, again, you're gonna use your combat. There you go, left clicks, and last hit using your poison dagger. So as you can see, it's very doable. There you go. Just a reminder, make sure to use your Venom skill to last hit your enemy, okay? For fast level and mastery of your Venom fruit. We will unlock this one, the Serpent's Wrath. With just 50 mastery, you will unlock one of the best F skills for grinding. There you go. Guys, make sure to master how you use it, okay? If your enemy has long range attacks, make sure to create more or farther distance every time you hit him with your F skill. Check the total damage, guys. Again, this is a low level character, reach 2000 plus in damage. Anyways, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 60, okay? Oh, and I almost forgot the F skill, right? The Serpent's Wrath will be faster if your HP is lower, okay? The lower the HP, the faster it will fly. So, for our next island, we got the Desert. So here, guys, the strategy is lure them with your F skill and defeat them with your Z skill. But if you're gonna ask me F skill is enough, you can defeat them. There you go, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, there you go, fast forward it to make things faster and easier. There you go, okay? So we're gonna grind here until level 75. And then after that, moving on to the Desert Officers, same strategy, guys, F skill if you want, F skill until level 90. <laughs> okay, so it really depends to you. If you wanna use your Z skill, it's still fine. Okay, let's check the stats. Melee 30, defense 30, blast fruits 210. Moving on, next up, the Frozen Village. Guys, head to the cave and buy everything this NPC sells, okay? After that, moving on to the Snow Bandits. With the power of that OPF skill, you're gonna defeat this mobs until level 105, okay? After that, moving on, the Yeti. Here is the tip. During F skill, right, create distance every time you hit him to avoid his skills. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you. This technique comes with experience. So as you can see, guys, I know that he's gonna use his skills. There you go. Check that damage out. Okay, again. Okay, let's create distance. There you go, guys. So see that? Just time it and you will be able to dodge all of his skills. So again, there you go. Server up here until you reach level 130. Guys, imagine defeating a boss just by using one skill. <laughs> Two OP. Okay, for the scales, 35 melee, defense 50, blocks worth 305. Next island is the Marine Fortress. Guys, turn to your right. Make sure to buy the Black Cape. This is one of my favorite, again, items here for 50,000 bellies. You're gonna ask me why, guys. Just trust me, okay? <laughs> okay, so next stop, our target, the Vice Admiral. Hmm. Guys, you can wall strat here or just use your F skill until you defeat him. Very easy. Again, the technique with Yeti. I will repeat, create distance every time you hit him to avoid his skills. Okay, so same with the Yeti, we're gonna do server up here, okay? Why? Because the experience is good, the reward money is also good. Anyway, we're gonna unlock our X skill here, my favorite Venom Fruit skill. The damage is really high. Anyways, we're gonna leave this area at 220. Next up, the prison. Okay, so in this island, we have three bosses. First is the Warden, right? So, same strategy. <laughs> At level 230, next stop is the Chief Warden. So guys, again, this mobs has no long-range attacks. 
So guys, it will be very easy for us to defeat these mobs repeatedly. At level 240, we will unlock the Swan Boss. This one has long range attack. So guys, uh, again, same strategy with the Yeti. Also guys, please report this dude cheater alert. Check that out guys. At first, it has no damage, right? So the moment I attack Swan, check the damage. There you go. Oh, so I got oof. Anyway guys, grind here until 350. <laughs> Focus on grinding. <laughs> and then for the stats, melee defense 175 blocks for 700. Next island is the Magma Village. Target here is Magma Admiral. So for the strategy, guys, same with the Eddie again. So attack, create distance. There you go. Make sure to dodge. And that's it. Okay? Very easy. Again, server up here until you reach level 425. There's a chance that you might get a gun here. Okay, stats, melee defense, 2 to 5, block fruits, 8 to 5. Next up is the Whirlpool, and under that is the Underwater City. Target here, the Fishman Lord. And for those who don't know, this boss has two lives. Check it out. There you go. Do you see that? Okay, his hair will change. And a new bar of HP, but in the end, he is easy to defeat. At level 500, we will leave this area. There you go. And next up is the Skylands. So here, another boss is our enemy. Yes, Whisper. I'm talking about Whisper only, guys. Whisper only. There you go. So guys, this boss has a strong damage, the bazooka, but you can dodge it. We're already used to it, like defeating Eddie and other bosses, so there is no problem. Guys, I just love to use the F skill, but I'm telling you, maximize the damage of the Noxious Shot and Poison Dagger. Please, okay? Please. <laughs> there you go. As you can see, very easy. While grinding in this boss, we will also unlock the C skill, the Toxic Fog. So guys, technique here, activate the Toxic Fog first before using your Serpent's Wrath, okay? This is a good combo, there you go, and that's it. We're gonna grind here until level 625. Almost done with the first C. Here are the stats, 300 mil defense, blocks for 1 to 7, 5. Guys, make sure to buy the Instinct. This will cost you, I think, 750,000. Yes, there you go. But this will be helpful. Okay, moving on. Back to the Fountain City with the Galley Pirates. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys Toxic Fog. Lure them with your F skill. Actually, this is enough as long as you dodge. But their skills will be kind of hard to dodge because there are four Galley Pirates. So you're going to use your Z and X skill to finish the job. Okay, target here is 700. But... If we are planning to reach max level, we're gonna skip all mobs until Swan Pirates. Again, guys, Swan Pirates. <laughs> so, guys, we're gonna stay here until level 775. Okay, here are the stats. Make sure to do the prison quest, okay? After that, talk to experienced captain and welcome to the second sea. Okay, like I said, straight to the Swan Pirates. Guys, make sure to use your instinct to dodge their skills. There you go. This will be helpful. Again, guys, listen, we're gonna skip all mobs until Fajita, okay? Please follow this if you wanna grind fast. <laughs> so, at level 925, we are heading to the next island, the green zone. There you go, and start defeating Fajita. Guys, we've already unlocked our Viscal Transformation. One of the coolest transformations in the game so far. Check that out. Guys, I'm gonna show you the damage of all the skills. There are improvements every time you transform, like higher damage. There you go. Check that out. 13,000, 15. F skill has a homing attack now. Every time you hold and release the F skill for the toxic fog, you need to always use your instinct because you won't be able to see your enemy. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you. Okay, see that guys? It's hard to see. <laughs> Anyways, check that out. This boss is almost dead. But guys, again, you need max fury meter to transform. Okay, so there you go. Target level here is level 1000. Okay, so after that, next island is the Snow Mountains. And our only target here is the Snow Troopers. So guys, again, C skill, F skill, use your Z and X skill. If your initial skills are not enough, there you go. So again, we're gonna skip the next mob here. Actually, all the mobs, again, we're gonna skip them all until level 1150. Okay, guys, take note of the levels, which means we are heading towards the hot and cold. 
and we are going to defeat the Smoke Admiral. Guys, this boss is the Vice Admiral version of the second CY because he is very easy to defeat and he is also near the quest giver. So as you can see guys, just one set of skills of a transformed Venom user, he is almost dead. So we're gonna take advantage of this one, we're gonna do server hop and grind really fast. Just a reminder, everything is not always uh, smooth sailing. Check this out while I'm grinding. There is a high level dude. Guys, this is Soul Guitar. So, I mean, he's already in the third C. But again, just focus. Keep on attacking the boss and you will get experience. Even though you get killed, that's fine, right? Target level, 1,250. I'm gonna show you the stats, guys. Already max blocks fruits, melee 500, defense 800. So we will focus on the defense now. Next stop is the cursed ship. Target ship deck hands only. Again, only. Gamer of why do you keep skipping mobs? Okay, so for my reason here is that either they're so far apart or they spawn really slow. Okay, that's my only reason. So we need to grind really faster and choose mobs or better mobs even though they give out less experience okay okay i hope that's clear so again our target here is level 1350 okay so once you reach that level next stop is the ice castle guys listen we're gonna defeat arctic warriors for only 50 levels right because we will unlock the next quest at level 1400 which means our goal here is level 1400 which means after this, we're gonna defeat the Awakened Ice Admiral. Guys, I suggest you stay here until you reach level 1500. Because Awakened Ice Admiral is a lot easier compared to the next mobs. Also the boss, okay? So Gamer Nob, you're telling me we're gonna skip the Forgotten Island? Yes guys, we're gonna skip it and focus on the Awakened Ice Admiral. Again, we're gonna serve up here. Also, you can do Wall Strat if you want. But again guys, this foot is really strong. There you go. After using all our skills, check the HP. See that? 1F skill is enough. I'm telling you, we're gonna do it, okay? Wait for it. Oh, there's also additional damage. Poison debris, <laughs> right? So there you go. At level 1500, we're gonna leave this C, okay? So make sure to finish the Coliseum quest. Yes, we're gonna fight Kendra. So I'm gonna show you this one because, again, Venom Fruit is really cool. There you go. ZX skill and C skill. Boom. Check that damage. Don't worry guys, you don't need to defeat this uh, boss. You just need to damage it, I think half, half of his HP, right? Half HP. Almost there. By the way, he's using a black, Dark Blade, Yoru. There go. Hopefully the developers will lend me their true triple Yoru, right? Uh, so that I can make a noob to pro with it, hopefully. There you go, almost half HP. And that's it, okay? After that, head to Mr. Captain and he will send you to the third C. Okay, we're almost done. So, for our first target, guys, we're gonna defeat the Pirate Millionaires. But guys, the main enemy here is this Bounty Hunters. Check that out, he killed us. Talaga guys, gusto to, okay. So guys, pag Buddha Fruit user, I sorry, sorry. So we're gonna enable our PvP and we're gonna defeat this one. This one thinks he's really good, okay? So use Z skill, X skill, create distance like the Yeti, remember? As long as this mob, I mean mob, sorry, this player is not touching us, he won't be able to defeat us. There you go. Anyways, back to the Pirate Millionaires. Oh, you want more? Oh, no more, no. Okay. Again, guys, Pirate Millionaires is our target. Let's cool down. There you go. Very easy to defeat. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1675. We're gonna skip all the mobs, okay? After this one, until the Island Empress, okay? Hydra Island next stop, server hop, okay? Wall Strat if you want, as long as you defeat this boss, okay? So we will be defeating bosses from here on, why? Because that is the easiest and the fastest way. Okay, so at level 1750, let me show you the stats, max blocks fruits, defense 2100, melee 700. So we're gonna max out defense here. Next up, grade 3. Target is the Kilo Admiral. So guys, main technique here is the high ground because this boss has no skills or long range skills. So he cannot hit you as long as you're here. There you go. Just use your X. Yeah, you can use your F but there's a chance that you might get damaged. There you go. Also, if you want, you can transform. There you go. And defeat this boss. 
as long as you defeat him, everything's fine. Check that damage out. I think we will reach 90k plus. There you go. Anyways, server up here until you reach level 1800. After this, next up is the Floating Turtle. With all the mobs here, we're only going to defeat the Fishman Captains. Why? Again guys, trust me, this is the easiest and the fastest mob to grind here. Actually, Force Pirates will do too. But again, we're gonna leave here at 1975. Next up is the Hunted Castle. Target here is the Reborn Skeletons. You can also grind the next mob here. I think that's the Living Skeletons, but sometimes they're bugged. So stay here until you reach level 2075. So once you reach that level, we are moving now to the Sea of Treats. First up, Peanut Scouts. Best place to grind. Actually, second. <laughs> okay, so target level here is level 2200. After this, my favorite, the Cookie Crafters. Okay. This mob has no long range attacks, which means if you're using long range attacks, they cannot touch you. 2300, we are moving to the Cocoa Warriors in the Chocolate Land. Guys, you can reach max level in this area, but if you really want to check all islands, you can head to the next or to the previous North Pole and defeat Candy Pirates. There you go. For your final 50 levels, you can stay here, okay? Okay, guys, so that was a long grinding video. So I hope that you learned something from it and enjoyed it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. I hope that you enjoyed this one. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.